click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number one which is based on state space analysis. Basically there are different types of numerical asked on this chapter. So first numerical that we are going to solve which is based on state variable model. So let's see first of all what is the question and then we'll move on to solution. Obtained state variable model of a system which is described by equation and this is the differential equation y double dash of t plus 3y dash of t plus 2y of t equal to r of t. Now in your exam instead of state variable model they will mention you or they will give you sv model or svm. So now we will find out the solution of this differential equation but what we are going to find out state variable model. So first of all we will write the formula so that you will get the idea what we are going to obtain y double dash of t plus 3y dash of t plus 2y of t equal to r of t. Now what we are going to find out a state variable model but basically what is the standard equation of state variable model I will show you. So this is our state variable model. This one is the input state equation and this one is a output state equation or else you can say that this is input state variable model and this one is output state variable model. Now what do you mean by this x dot? The x dot and x these are the state variable models and u is the input of the system. Now here what is the order of differentiation or highest power of differentiation? Here the two dot is mentioned which means we have a second order differential equation. So if we have the second order then we will use two state variable models. So look at here the highest degree or highest power of differential equation is 2. So what I have mentioned we will use two state variables. So let's say my two state variables are x1 and x2. Now how to use these two state variables in this equation I will show you. This was our question. Now as I discussed we will use the two state variables and let's say that the values are x1 and x2. So we will substitute our state variable but in y of d because here we have the highest degree of differential equations too and according to state variable model equation we want to express this whole equation in terms of state variable that's why i'm going to replace this y of t by x1 of t so let x1 of t equal to y of t now i will differentiate this y of t once If I differentiate this y of t only once then this x1 of t is also get differentiated so I will mark one dot over the x1 of t but you can differentiate the state variable model up to one level or you can say the order the highest value or highest degree of differential equation or the highest degree of differentiation on or of x1 of t or that is a state variable must be equal to one. So we can differentiate the state variable max to max up to 1 and here I'm going to substitute the second state variable which was x2 of t. Now I'll again differentiate this y dash of t so that you will get the highest degree of differentiation. Now which term we are going to differentiate as I said you can differentiate this state variable up to one level so I'm going to differentiate this x2 of t. So let's say my x2 is becomes x2 dot of t or you can say x2 dash of t. Now I am going to find out the equation for x2 dash of t. How? So we will use this equation. So according to this question y double dash of t will be. I will shift all these three terms on right hand side. So they will carry some negative sign. So I can write first of all 2y of t which will carry a minus sign. The next one is minus 3 y dash of t equal to r of t. Now basically what was the input state variable model equation? The equation was x dot of t. This was the equation x dot of t is equal to a into x of t plus b u of t where x dot is nothing but we are going to place one 
state variable on left hand side which will having a highest degree one and on right hand side we are going to replace all the y of t by a normalized value of state variable that is x of t and at the end we will substitute the input value which is u of t here we have the r of t now just compare this equation with this one y double dash of t we are going to replace this y double dash of t by state variable which is having the highest degree one so y double dash of t over here the highest degree of state variable is one so we'll replace this y double dash of t by all the state variable but first so we will replace this y double dash of t by x2 dash of t first now look at here on right hand side here we are going to replace all the y of t or y dash of t by simple value of state variable not a differentiation value of y x of t so look at here this y of t is replaced by simple state variable value which is x1 of t minus y dash of t is replaced by a simple value of state variable that is x2 of t and here we have u of t as an input but in equation in our question the input is r of t so we'll write this r of t as it is now i'm going to form a state variable model so how many state variables we have we have a two state variable that is x1 and x2 and we also have the highest differentiation degree value that is one so on left hand side we will always place the highest that is first differentiation order of state variable so let's say and these all are matrices so basically you can write dot also or dash also so be, here on left hand side we used the differential values of state variables that's why i have placed differential values of state variables now we are going to write 2 cross 2 matrix for a then we have a state variables how many state variables we have 2 and we want the normalized value of that state variables so let's say So I have substituted my x1 of t, x2 of t over here and the last one which is B matrix. Now we have single column and two rows value of B and at the end u of t. Here we have u of t values r of t. So here I will write r of t. Now we are going to substitute the values of x1 dash of t and x2 dash of t. But from where you are going to substitute? From where you will get this value? From this equation and from this equation so x1 dash of t value we are going to find out x1 dash of t equation here we have the x1 dash of t equation now we will find out x1 of t and x2 of t value in this equation what is the coefficient of x1 of t and x2 of t value but in x1 dash of t well now in x1 dash of t we have only x2 of t and we have the coefficient value which is one so uh, my x1 of t value is missing so I'll place 0 over there and x2 of t value coefficient is 1. So I'll write over here. Now we will move on to x2 dash of t. In x2 dash of t, we are going to find out x1 of t and x2 of t value. So in my x2 dash of t, my x1 of t value is minus 2. And my x2 of t value is minus 3. Now in x2 dash of t, my r of t value is 1 but in my x1 dash of t my r of t value is missing so i'll write 0 and this is nothing but my input state variable equation or model now we will find out the output state variable model so look at here here we are going to place a normalized value of state variable and here we are going to substitute the value of u of t which is nothing but my r of t which is given in my question now so my output state variable equation or model is y of t equals to here we are going to place a matrix which is having a single row but two elements because we have a two state variable now my y of t equation i have marked one equation on my last page and we are going to find out y of t value on that equations the first line is mentioned y of t equals to x1 of t which means we have only first state variable value in my whole equations My x1 of t coefficient is 1 and my x2 of t coefficient is 0 but 
my r of t value in my first line is missing so i will write only 0 into r of t and this is my output state variable model so this is how we are going to find out my state variable model equations the input one and output one now we will study the similar type of questions in the next video so thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekda and subscribe to ekda for next further videos thank you so much